In this video I'll demonstrate a, a plug-in that uh, was just released on the 27th of January 2013. It builds a calendar over your image just as this one here. So it, you need to go to the uh, website but in this case I've got a uh, description down below on where it is and also the link and that's the link there you click on that it's only a very small file but it's very good so you click on that link and download it onto your desktop once you have it on your desktop open Explorer and click uh, on the, on your uh, that's the GIMP folder and then you choose the uh, the script, that's the script one there when the mouse behaves itself click on the script just down, uh, pull it down a little bit because it's on your desktop and just drag it into that script folder that's the uh, the one shown there in scripts just open that folder and they're all ready to go now you open up the GIMP and you load an image such as this and that's an image of an old wagon and the background was composed with uh, GIMP. I put the background in, it was in an, the, the wagon was in an old paddock. So I got a sunset in the background and uh, GIMP did a pretty good job of uh, putting the two together. Anyway, we go to filters and we go to render and there's your new, new ones. You've got the yearly calendar and a calendar. We choose the calendar one first and the script usually loads down the bottom. You just click on it and bring it back up. Now you can choose any month you like on this particular it makes one calendar month so you can choose any calendar month or any year you can tumble it down to whatever year you like and then take it back and go overboard to a new year's if you wish so we'll stick it with that one you can change the type the font so we'll click on the uh, the sam's font there and it brings up the the uh, font script and uh, it'll be hidden in this little dialogue so we'll choose something nice and bold, that one there will do. And we close it off. Now we click on the other one, which will be the fonts. That's the text, and the other one's the number fonts. So we'll choose the bold one again, Sam's there, and close that off. Now your foreground colour will be whatever's, or the, the, uh, the text will be whatever your foreground colour is. Because the image is dark, we'll choose another colour. I'll check, click on something nice and yellow will do. We bring back our script. Now here I have the borders. I can change the colour of the border. Once again I'll choose yellow because we're on a, back, a dark background and then click OK. Now of course the, you can change the border uh, pixels if you choose. You can change it bigger or smaller. So that's pretty right for what we want at the moment. So I'll click OK and the script goes and builds it all for you. It actually takes your month and year off your uh, off your computer system. And that's the calendar for January uh, 2013. Of course, uh, we know now that Wednesday is the 30th and just Thursday is the 30th, 31st. Now it doesn't put the the uh, year up there or what or the or the month. So you can uh, highlight the, the character letters by right clicking on it and alpha to selection. That selects all the text. We change our colour back to black and we go to edit. And stroke selection. And of course it's far too big. We bring the numbers down to possibly two pixels and then we stroke and that'll put a nice black border around them all now you can see the go to select and select none now you can see the it's highlighted the, the text for you as it goes around we kill that one off we click on it and put it in the waste bin I go to my rectangular selection tool and draw a selection in that area there. Make sure my uh, foreground colour is yellow and then go back to filters and then show the calendar once again. 
everything should be right there. I've got the pixels up to two, the border. The border color is yellow. I've got bold fonts. And it's going to be January 2013. So I click OK and it builds the, the script builds the calendar in within that boundaries. Now it's, it's built the, the uh, calendar within the uh, selection boundaries. I'll go and turn the selection off, select none, go to my text tool, and I need the Sam's Bold again. Sam's Bold, and just type in January the month it is. And the year 2013. And of course we increase the, uh, the text to uh, fit the image. Right, now we go to the Move tool because we have a text layer there. And we move the active layer and we just move the text within the areas so you can read what it is, January 2013. So that's how you use it within uh, a single one, like the single calendar. Now we, we kill those two off and the text one as well. Put it in the bin. Now we go and use the other one. I'll change the colour to white in this case. I go to uh, Filters, Render, and I'll do the year calendar. Then once again you can change any year you like, whatever year, and your month. Because this one here will give 12 months, which is kind of, it works out how it will fit the images on the screen, so it knows it's got to divide it up into 12 equal parts. But in this case I'll only give a couple of months, so I've got um, We'll take it down to uh, March, from January to March. It's just three months. Once again, we'll change the colour because it's using another part of a script now and it needs it all new settings. And the fonts, we uh, we choose that one. It brings up the font script and we go and choose a reasonable font. Um, and then we choose the numbers fonts the same. Close it off. We just change the border to two pixels, and we're just going to make yeah, that's all right. January, so it, it's 2013. We click OK, and it goes through and builds the three months for us on that uh, image. It opens up in another window, but it uh, once it puts it all together, it takes you back to the original window. Now we come down to our image, which is the very last one. Turn the eye off right click any of any of the layers and after to merge visible layers now any any layers that are visible they'll be merged that brings all our uh, january and february march text into line we turn back on the eye now i can go and change that and move it anywhere i like in the move tool and move it down so it can be more readable in some different areas it's a bit too light there maybe up near the top so there we have it. The only thing it doesn't do is print the year. So you need to uh, possibly move the calendar down a bit and then put your year up the top there with your, with your text tool. So you might say to yourself, well, what's this useful for? This is one, one image you can use. You could build an album page, an introduction page, like on a wedding day. In this case, Rick and Jess's wedding day. And it's March 2011 and you just put a circle on the date they were married. So it's, it's a good introduction on a scrapbook or anything like that. So the, uh, there's a PDF file on, on how, how to do all this and also there's a link in the description below to that particular plugin and also it's listed in the uh, PDF file.